You're going to find lots of keys, and you're not going to remember what it goes to. And like, here's a key to an old car we used to have, and I don't know what I'm thinking. Am I going to find the car someday and rip it off? I'm not going to. See, so they're, they, they have value. They have kind of a well, they're metal. They're like a coin. So, you know, you kind of don't want to throw away something to valuable. Plus, you've had them kind of be a block in your mind. You've lost your keys. You've um, been locked out of places, and so you just really hate to kind of when you have find one in one. your hand and dump it, but <laughs> just, just do it. Here, this important safeguards. Save these instructions. I mean, they mean it, but it's to the automatic coffee maker. So if you're successfully brewing coffee every morning, you don't need to mind them. You don't need to keep their instructions. You're doing it. You're going to find lots of greeting cards that you've saved because you love the person that sent you the card or you love the card. But we've seen too many cards. And the thing is, you now I love Basset Hound. So I've got Basset Hound cards that, but the rule, remember, it's you can keep 10%. So you have to be real selective. Selective in what you keep. So those can both go. Um, twist ties. We, twist ties, get, well, though, that's another thing you, you can, can have get too many of. We get, you get to have six of them. You, you can have six of these big heavy duty ones, and you can have six of these long skinnier ones, and six of these medium ones, and Here's six some. of the short ones. All, there, there's so four what? different sizes, and you can have six of each one's at one of those, but no more than that. It's kind of like when you when you get a lot of twist ties, it means you're not twisting anything. So, and it's another fear thought. It's like you're gonna what get um, a box of the garbage sacks and. They won't have twist ties in them. It's not mm -hmm. going to happen. You're going to find duplicates of everything. You're going to find probably 20 pairs of scissors and um, all kinds of duplicates. Now this duplicate, this is a tape measure, and it's uh, it's missing an inch on the end of it. So what that what happens with that? When you go to measure something, you're going to have to get your left brain in there, figure, multi, you know, adding up that extra inch so you don't you're not off an inch. Get rid of it. And if you find out that you say we didn't have a duplicate and we needed a new one, write it on the scratch pad. Just put new tape measure. And then this scratch pad piece of paper would go in your card file kit in the day that you've designated to be your gopher day.